Welcome back everyone. Well, Pride Month may be over, but the celebrations nowhere near ending. This coming week, actually on Tuesday, the Austin LGBTQ the Chamber of Commerce is teaming up with the Health Alliance for Austin Musicians, also known as HAM. They're going to be celebrating Pride and local music. And today, bright and early in studio, we have Tina Cannon, president and CEO of the Austin LGBTQ Chamber of Commerce, as well as Christopher Alberts. Uh, he is HAM's chief development officer. All right, a mouthful this morning, but let's start with you, Tina. Um, tell us a little bit about this event and what people can expect. Sure, thanks for having us this morning. Yeah. Uh, this is the fifth annual Pride in Local Music Festival. We started it during COVID as a way to highlight musicians. We did it as an all online event, of course. Uh, and over the years it's grown. We've had it at the Long Center, we've had it on Fifth Street. Uh, and this year we partnered with our friends at ACL and HAM to produce it during the Health Alliance for Austin Musicians Big Big Ham Day. Yeah, and it's there's a lot that goes into it. So Christopher, tell us um, about this partnership and where HAM really comes into this and, and your role and how you guys are really kind of organizing everything right now. Absolutely, so HAM is thrilled to partner with uh, Pride and Local Music and HAM Day, for those that don't know, is our biggest fundraiser and awareness opportunity of the year and HAM provides access to affordable health care for local musicians. Mm -hmm. And so partnering with uh, the Chamber and Pride and Local Music, we get to showcase their amazing talent as part of the, the larger day, which consists of over 100 venues, 240 musical performances, 300 plus musicians. Um, but for us, it's really important to, to shine a spotlight on musicians that are disproportionately impacted by access to health care, and that includes musicians that are part of the LGBTQIA uh, community. And so for HAM, this is a really great showcase to show off their talents to partner with another great organization in town to spread awareness um, and raise some great money for great causes. Yeah, you guys have been doing this now for five years, correct? This this partnership. Is this that is correct? the first time. For, oh, this is the first time with the partnership. Okay. Ham's been around a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're honored to partner with these guys this year. <laughs> yeah. It really is a great platform for us to be able to elevate our musicians mm -hmm. through this ham showcase. Speaking of elevating musicians, I was looking um, on the information page for this event, and you guys were talking about you know, how previous artists have gone on to bigger and better things, how this has really helped mm -hmm. their careers. Can you give us an example of, of something that these artists have been able to accomplish? I'd say through, through ours, we were, we were able to see, as, as musicians kind of, this is their CV, right? Mm -hmm. It's their resume. And this event has been great. So we've watched some of our LGBT musicians over the course of the last couple of years go on and play ACL, go on and play at Bonnaroo and, and other venues that are much larger. And so I'm sure you guys have amazing war stories of success. Absolutely. I think, you know, one of the, the really wonderful things about HAM is our ability to keep musicians playing music. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as this community grows and changes, um, healthcare is really expensive. And so providing that support so that our talented musicians can continue to showcase their talents and work the venues we love here locally with that potential to, to grow and have their career blossom. And, you know, we've seen it time and time again. And so we're really excited to play that support role. Yeah, absolutely. We're really excited to be a part of helping you guys get the message out there. I know it's going to be a really exciting event happening on Tuesday. We're going to have more information on our website as well. So Tina and Christopher, thank you so much for being here with us this morning. We really appreciate your thank time. Thank you all very much. Yeah, thank you. absolutely.